We do a lot of analysis in org mode that looks something like this code block right here that has some analysis that generates a figure. So we can run this and it will pop up you know, our figure um, and when we close it, then, then it's gone. Of course, we can always add, add links like this and maybe even get rid of the, the show. And when we run this, it'll automatically put our figure uh, in line. But I always have to do that manually, and uh, it might be uh, there might be times when it's not necessary for me to have that uh, right away. So I want to look today at a couple of ideas of using org mode or Emacs to show me what these images look like without having to do that generation. So I'm going to look at two approaches. One is a tooltip, and one is an overlay. So the idea is that we would have a regular expression that could match those image files and then we would be able to just hover the mouse over it and, and show the tooltip. And so I constructed this regular expression here. It basically looks for quoted file names, single quote or double quote, uh, with these extensions and matching uh, whatever quote was, uh, was found. And then I create uh, the image tooltip function that uh, takes these three required arguments, window object position. We go to the position and sort of look backwards until we find our image and then we set the image file to be group one, which is up here, and that's the actual file name. Then we use the create image, uh, and I use image magic here to scale it, so we'll just get a small, a small version. And then we add uh, a display function uh, to what this uh, returns. Sorry, display property. Now we just add font lock uh, keywords, and this will match this expression and put this uh, image tooltip in the help echo. So let's just run this. If you notice down here these turned blue and now as I put my my mouse over them the tooltip for them shows up. All right, so I can look here and there's the tooltip and tooltip. They're not clickable so uh, we could have done that and, and made it so I could click on this and open that image but I hardly ever need to do that. All right, if I go back up here, let's see if it works here. Yep, it works here too. So that would be a way I could, you know, avoid having to write and clutter up everything uh, in here. All right, so let's take another uh, idea and say, what if, what if we just replace this with an overlay? Since I created the string with the image, we could do that as well. So in the overlay approach, uh, that's what we're going to do. We again make a new font uh, font lock function that will find the next image, and we just uh, search forward to find them. And wherever we find them, we create an overlay down here with the display of the image uh, default face, and we give it a property or image overlay so it's easy to, uh, to delete. All right, so now we again add font, uh, font lock keywords. And we'll run that. And now let's come down here. I'll do Alt O, Alt O to refontify it and now you see that this image is directly uh, created in the buffer. It's a little strange to see uh, plot save fig there. I can't decide if that's a, an improvement uh, over having it embedded all over the place um, or not, but that's, that's the feature uh, that we just created. All right, so maybe we want to uh, get rid of those overlays Right, we can do that by using this org image overlay property. If I run this, uh, then it goes away. But if you notice that if I do anything that causes font lock to work again, uh, that it just comes right back. So we just use the uh, font lock remove keywords to get rid of that. And we can clear the overlays uh, after we do that. And now up here, if I do anything, it, it's just back to back to normal. Okay, so that's all uh, for, for this particular post. Uh, interesting idea to use um, a variety of, of approaches, tooltips, or overlays to automatically display images, either when you want them or, or in the buffer without having to create these links. Of course, if you're going to export this, you have to make the links. None of these tooltips or overlays will export. Uh, it's only for using org mode in native form. That's it. Thanks for watching.